I took the current COVID monovalent shot. Uh, it's not a big deal anymore. I'm making this video for Indians in India, actually rich Indians in India. So if you're not a rich Indian, you don't have to listen to it. If you live in the United States, just follow the FDA, CDC guidelines, talk to your doctor. If I'm your doctor, call me. The shot is made against XBB 1.5. Current circulating strains are EG.5 and BA.2.86. But this shot will give you additional protection against it. The risk of taking the shot should be much lower, like if you have tolerated these type of shots before. Interestingly, the benefits are a little bit lower too, because we have seen that uh, these vaccines protect you against serious illness. So against ancestral COVID strain, alpha, delta, the vaccines were protecting, keeping you out of the hospital, preventing you from dying and giving you that layer of protection. With this current Omicron variant, the risk of serious diseases as it is low. So when you look at the risk benefit ratio, the ratio has gone down lower. But still, if you are immunosuppressed, obese, COPD, it's an individual decision after discussion with your doctor. But that will give you that additional edge of protection. And interestingly, I think, and I'll turn out to be right, I'm 100% sure, that this mild disease cannot be prevented with vaccine. Serious disease is not happening. But the moderate symptomatic disease that you get, if you take this vaccine for next up to two years, it might reduce the severity of moderate illness that you get. It may not mean a big deal two or three days, but it might salvage a trip on which you have spent $50,000. So if you are a rich Indian in India, consider to travel to United States, we need the travel dollars. Talk to your doctor and consider taking these shots to give you the additional layer of protection for two years. So what's the mistake, big mistake, blunder that India made? I'm incredibly proud of India and the progress that they made and how they're dealing with things. But this was a blunder. In, during early pandemic, when say Pfizer and Moderna were offered to India, it's like they offered a train between Lucknow and Delhi. And we didn't want to go to Delhi. So we just said, no, no, we don't want that train. But when we said we don't want that train, we said no to the entire technology, the rail technology. Imagine it was early 1850s and Britain was offering this technology to India. So there are two parts of it, mRNA technology to deliver the mRNA product. And that is the rail service, the rail tracks, the locomotives, their production, the engines, the signaling and the whole thing. Okay. And what you load onto it is the actual mRNA part. So what is it? It's really simple. Suppose there are some, you need body to make some type of protein. So you write a software, you load, load that software on the train track. So that train will take it, the body, which is the laptop or the desktop, will make those antibodies easily and cheaply and quickly. India said no to the whole technology, which we could, we could send a train from Delhi to Lucknow, from Rampur to Kolkata. We can do whatever. We can send goods, we can send animals, we can, send, we can do anything once we have that railway technology. And how easy it is and how individual, because it is so easy to change. Say there are three people, Tom, Dick and Harry, and unfortunately they have cancer. So what we could do is now that we have perfected the delivery technology, there were a lot of problems with delivery technology and we didn't have research money to fix them. Pandemic gave us enough money, so all those problems lingering for 20, 30 years are now solved. So we take Tom's cancer cells, study them under microscope, see what the immune signature is, see what type of antibodies will destroy those cancer cells if they were to come into future, then create a vaccine that is specific to Tom and inject that mRNA into Tom's body and keep Tom safe and that is the future of cancer technology, cancer mRNA. People of the world who are suffering from cancer unfortunately now just keep your hope up, keep fighting. The future is so good, this technology is going to be really good. What India did was, India could have mastered this mRNA technology even if it didn't take the vaccines, if it didn't need more Pfizer and Moderna. India had 
Covaxin and Covishield, but it would have at least identified and tried to assimilate the mRNA technology. Means it's like because you are good at making typewriters and Microsoft Word comes around and it's painful to learn for first 24 hours. But that is the future of the world. That is like non-linear editing. That's so simple. When Microsoft Word is out there, if you keep banging on the typewriter just because you have it, what kind of what kind of sense does it make? I would like to see Indian companies make these innovations themselves and come up with this solution and not after an American company licenses this technology 10 years later Indian youth are wearing shiny shoes and low string ties and joining literally minimum wage call center jobs saying today I tried to give you the best possible customer service no you find your own customers you find your own technology that's where India's future need to go and that's why I think India made a mistake by saying no to mRNA. India, like during Second World War, America was the arsenal of democracy. India is going to be the drug house of the entire world. And this is the future of the world. So India needs to adopt this technology, mRNA technology, as quickly as possible. And as regards rich Indians coming to USA, obviously talk to your doctor. I have nothing to do with these drug companies like I don't even like them the bivalent shot that they used last year where 50% was the original strain and 50% was BA45 that was a huge mistake the original strain tamped down the effectiveness of BA45 but this shot appears to be good to give you a decent protection for two years COVID is done and dusted but this is the future and the future of medicine. That's why we should adopt it. Dr. Ravi Godse.